Welcome to this tutorial for the Mileages about how to manually add trips to your account. Now, this is very easy to do, but there's one important thing that must be done before you can add miles, and that is that you have to add a vehicle to your account first. Now, if you already have a Mileages device and it's added to your account, you can skip this step. Otherwise, let's show you how. Now, here's how we add a vehicle. Now, first, obviously, you need to log in to see this main landing page. And up here is this menu, and this menu is going to be visible no matter what page you're on as long as you're logged in. And we're going to want to click on our email address and select the user settings tab. That's going to take us to our user settings page, which is right here. And you can reset your password from here, you can change your contact information. What we're going to do is we're going to select vehicles, because we want to add a vehicle. And then obviously we're going to click this little button, add a vehicle. And we get a device ID, a vehicle, and an authorization code. Now, if you don't have a device, that's okay. We're going to create our own device ID. What we're going to do is this user's name is John Doe. We're going to name him J Doe Manual Log. Okay? And that's going to be the device ID that he uses. And then for the vehicle, John drives a Camry. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to call this Camry Manual Log. Easy, easy. And then we just hit save. And now we see this little symbol here that says device saved. And it's right there. It's listed as a vehicle with zero miles. So what we're going to do is let's go add some trips to this. We go to the edit trips page. We see that there's nothing here. There's no trips. Normally trips will show up right here. So let's go and add one. We're going to click manually add a trip. <clears throat> and we get shown this add a trip user interface. And you can see right here, our device that we just added is right there. And that means that we're going to obviously be adding miles to and trips to that device. Now, if you had other devices here, multiple devices, you can just select the device that you want to add the trip to. So we're going to say we drove 10 miles and the trip was for business. We're not going to add a client this time, but maybe for a purpose, let's say it was a sales visit. Now we're going to select the start date. Let's say it was February 25th, 2014. And you notice when I, when I select the date here, it also gets set over here because most dates are going to happen on the same day. Most trips will happen the same day. Starting time, we're going to say it was 9 o'clock a.m. And when I set that, you'll notice it gets set over here too. That just makes it easy to find your end time too. So we'll say it's 9.15 a.m. And you can type in here too. If you want to say it was 9.24 a.m., you can and it'll get set. So for starting location, you'll see these little drop down boxes. And if you don't have, if you have a brand new account, there's not going to be anything in here. But for John Doe, he's added a location that's called a main office. So I can actually use the main office location as the starting point of my trip and it will fill in the, uh, the address of the main location. But if you need to enter an address, you can just click this link here, click to enter by address, and type the address in. It's no big deal. In our case, I'm going to have our trip start at the main office and also end at the main office. We'll just say it was a round trip. Now, when I hit save, that's basically all I need to do. But you'll notice one more thing. When I hit save, the trip doesn't show up in here. Now, what's happening is there is a bug with some web browsers where that trip won't get loaded here when you hit save right there. And what you'll have to do to see it is you go and up, up to this and hit refresh. Now this is Safari, so I'm going to hit refresh. It's this little icon here. And you'll see that the trip shows up immediately. We can expand it down. We see that we started at the main office, ended at the main office. It was a sales visit. All our information is added correctly. And it's showing us the location of it over here. So that's all we need to do. Very easy, very simple. Now if your trip still doesn't show up, make sure it's not getting filtered out. Like if your date doesn't is not showing the correct date range or you're filtering out business trips, any of those things will, show, will uh, cause your trip not to show up. Well, thank you very much and good luck using the mileage ace and adding trips.